everyone, we're looking at one of my favorite tools today, a laser cutter. I use mine several times a week. If you are involved in making and digital fabrication, I just say the best order is first get a 3D printer. Something like the Creality and the free version 2 is perfect. Then a laser cutter and a CNC machine. For those of you who are subscribed to my channel, you've seen me use my laser cutter many, many times. This is actually a new one. It's the Maybrock X2 Rotary Laser Box, the upgraded version of the usual Maybrock laser box you see me use all the time. Both the X2 and the original laser box are 40 watt laser cutters. And before you got, get hung up on specs, let me say I've never been unable to do what I needed to with that wattage. Yes, there are Chinese lasers that are cheaper and more powerful. I own another 80 watt laser cutter, but since the laser box is so much easier to use, it's really my daily driver. And no, I'm not paid to say that. Yes, I'm happy to have this one, but I've turned down much more expensive tools that I felt I would not use and could not recommend. Okay, it's pretty heavy, so I've already have the local uncles uncrave it and put it on the little rolling table I built. Let me show you how they set up. So this is the laser cutter itself, and this is the air filter. Let me put pull the whole car out so that you can see. So this cable connects to the filter, and the whole air hose also connects to the filter, and the other hose just goes outside. And uh, you, the power cord goes to here. It's that simple. That's why I set it up. Using a little bit of hose is okay, but for long runs, you want to use PVC pipe to keep the air flowing. Over here, I have these valves. I can either select uh, my laser cutter or my film extractor uh, over my workbench while I solder or glue something so that I don't breathe in anything nasty. Okay, I've got this little PM 2.5 meter. It's usually for measuring air pollution. It will work in indoors also. So it can tell me whether my film extractor is working or not. And if I'm working all day with my laser cutter, I don't want to breathe in anything nasty. So, and since this uh, laser, uh, laser cutter is new, I want to be extra careful and keep an eye on that. Right now it says 24. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on that and check it out later after I use the laser cutter. All right, now we are in the laser box software. Actually, it's the same light uh, we use for the laser box pro. Uh, they upgraded a bit, I guess, uh, but let's do, okay, remind me later, a new version. Let's uh, do some simple tests on different materials. Just like before, there are QR codes on the corner for their materials. The camera will recognize it and show up on the software in the software. Identifying material. Okay, that's our cardboard, 3.5 millimeter cardboard. I'm just going in design and draw a simple square, right? And then I'm going to cut it. Takes 24 seconds. Right, this is just <laughs> the square I cut out. Next, I'm going to test the other material they sent to me. It's the three millimeter base wood. I'm going to try to cut out some examples from their library.
let's go back to files you see there are some samples for you to uh, cut or engrave let's cut out this car All right, let's take a look. Wow. Okay, this is just your typical laser cut toy. It is just perfect as it is. All right, next I'm going to use a paper to write down something on the paper and then try to engrave it. Okay, this is what I craft from the paper. Now I can move it. Then I'm going to put the base wood back in. I still have the rest of the material left. Then you can just move it here and then engrave or cut it as engrave see that's why draw it says made block laser box so recognize the words I draw on the paper, I roll on the paper, and then I can just crop the picture and move it to on any material and then engrave or cut it. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community where you can take a class and learn how to do pretty much anything. While you do is good for entertainment, the constant ads and stalling and teasers on so many channels these days make it a difficult place to learn specific skills. Skillshare is only $10 a month, has classes on thousands of different subjects, and is constantly adding new ones. As most of you know, I hate cloud-based anything. One of the reasons I love this X2 laser box from Mayblock is that unlike competing small laser cutters or the software ones locally, for me, that's really important. Unfortunately, more and more companies are trying to move their software to the cloud and make us pay monthly for it. While it's okay to use those applications sometimes for speed and usability, we should never allow ourselves to be completely at their mercy. So this week, with a little help from my friends at Skillshare, I'm going to brush up on my FreeCAD skills. FreeCAD is false, free open source software that you run locally on your computer. Once you learned it, no one can take it away from you. I've used it a little in the past, but it's important to maintain these skills, so I'm just going to take a little refresher with Skillshare. All right, now we are in Skillshare. This is the video I'm going to learn how to design my own plant pot. It's a free cat basics for 3D printing. And you can see I have, uh, when I finish the lessons, it. Uh, add a take on the lab to show you finish it and it actually starts from number eight before it's telling you about the in introduction blah 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 and this is where they teach you how to make the plant pot
Voila! I made my own platform also. See? Okay, easy peasy. That skill is locked in there when I need it, and no one can take it away from me. Next time, I'll brush it up on Inkscape. It's another Fox package that's really useful if you do a lot of laser engraving. Skillshare is great for stuff like this. No ads, no fluff, just the information you need. If you'd like to learn a free open source software application, or well, pretty much anything else, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. All right, next, I am going to engrave on this bamboo chopsticks. Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay. Okay, even though the letter is so small, but the test is still nice and clean, this is the result we want. This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, all while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. Okay, now let's try out their rotary attachment. I'm going to measure my bamboo cup and put the diameter in the software. My bamboo cup is around 44 millimeter. So I'm going to change the gear to two and change the material diameter to 44. Not bad. Okay, the lettering is clean, but it is crooked. I think it is because the bamboo is uneven, but I don't have any other cylinder shape material I can test right now. So I'm going to order some and I'm going to do a whole video about the rotary attachment next time. 
but uh, as you can see this is working fine uh, it has no big issues only a uh, little crooked okay the x2 is basically the same as my laser box that i've been using for over a year now the big difference is it can now use a rotary attachment to be honest since i don't do a whole lot of decorative engraving it's not something I think I'll be using very often, but if you are running any sort of custom engraving business with your machine, and many people do, it is essential for many jobs and a worthwhile investment. The X2 continues to be the easiest to use laser engraver I have ever worked with and as such, and I consider it perfect for schools and makerspace that don't want to spend a lot of time training new users. All of its software once locally, you'll never end up in a position where you can't do what you need to because of internet issues, changing subscription models, or any of that nonsense. Once you buy it, you own it. And that's a key difference between it and its competitors and why the X2 laser box continues to be my top recommendation as a laser engraver. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in buying your own or getting more information and you'll continue to see me use it in future videos. That's it for today. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.